everybody, Melon here. Welcome back to another episode of the Melon Review. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new control pad from a brand I surprisingly haven't covered yet, despite them being a mainstay in the mouse pad market for a very long time. Today we're going to be checking out the ESP Tiger Tang Do SR. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I messed that name up. I'm terrible pronunciation. Now, big thank you to Potent Gaming, who was kind enough to send us over for review. Potent Gaming is a local Canadian retailer who stocks ESP Tiger, X-Ray Pad, and a bunch of other brands. They've been a really big help to me because I've been trying to get a lot of stuff from the state and I hate paying that insane overboarder shipping. So they've been awesome as a local retailer. If you're in Canada and you're looking for mouse pads, grip tape, mouse skates, and that kind of stuff from ESP Tiger or X-Ray Pad, definitely recommend checking them out because they're awesome and their shipping is pretty fast. Now, what caught my eye against the Deo SR is that this mouse pad is kind of different from a lot of other control pads we've seen on the market. Traditionally, modern control pads tend to be this very soft control surface where you kind of push your mouse into the surface to feel that control. However, the Deo SR isn't nearly as soft as a lot of the other control pads we've seen on the market, which really caught my eye. So I wanted to see how a more medium to firm control mouse pad would feel and I haven't looked at any of ESP Tiger's pads yet so I figured this would be a great opportunity to do so. So I'm very interested to see how the Dow SR feels in terms of performance and how it compares against other control pads. I will talk more about comparisons and that kind of stuff in my full review which will be coming out a couple weeks after this video goes live once I have time to do some more testing and that kind of stuff. Today's just going to be a quick unboxing and first impressions video but I'm very interested to see how this pad stacks up against the competition. But that's enough about housekeeping let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about pricing and the features of the Tangdo SR. All right now in terms of pricing the Tendo SR retails for around 48 Canadian dollars which is around 36 USD depending on the retailer you find it from they may be a little more or a little less it does come in three colorways there is purple blue and orange now this is designed to be a balanced control pad as I mentioned before it comes in 480 by 400 size it is four millimeters thick and is using an SCR base all right now in terms of the unboxing the Tendo SR does come flat packed now my packaging isn't in the greatest shape just because Canada Post literally folded this in half to get into my mailbox so shout out to them but the packaging is very very nice. The packaging does double, of course, as a storage box, like a lot of the other flat pack mouse pads we've seen on the market, which is nice to see. Now, aside from what's inside, we have the pad itself, some protective layering. Now, one really unique thing that ESP Tiger has done here is that inside the packaging here, there's this little pamphlet. Now, this pamphlet tells you the specs of the pad and what you can expect from the performance in terms of like control variability and how it's going to feel for glide and that kind of stuff, which is a really, really cool thing. I really wish that other brands would do this because sometimes you unbox the mouse pad and you're like, I don't know what I got. Of course, you're doing prior research and that kind of stuff but it's really nice to see this little pamphlet where you can just quickly reference information which is very very nice to see all right now in terms of first impressions for the tando sr this pad is quite rigid due to its non-soft design the surfacing is almost gritty to the hand it's a very unique surface i don't think i've ever used another pad with a surfacing like this now the surfacing is very abrasive against skin so i'm a little concerned about maybe long-term use on this with bare arms but i'll talk more about that in the full review and see how it works with arm sleeves and that kind of stuff but the tando sr's x and y axis friction does feel consistent again this is is advertised as a balanced control pad and it does feel consistent on x and y axis which is a very good thing to see the edge stitching is very nice very uniform across the pad the edge stitching is just below the surface of the pad itself but it does have a nice rounded edge so it's very easy to move your arm up and down the sides of the pad which is a great thing to see now the base as i mentioned before is an scr base this is just like a highly textured rubber base it doesn't have like that natural stickiness you kind of find from quote unquote poron pads but i actually prefer the rubber pads over poron just because poron implementation has been pretty hit or miss on a lot of pads i'd rather just have a consistent rubber base and that is what we have here it does rely on downward pressure to anchor itself to your desk but given that your arm is going to be resting on the pad that's not that big of a deal in terms of qc and first impressions the pad does feel very solid no loose stitching or any kind of unevenness in the edge stitching overall it does look very very solidly qc now i wanted to talk a little bit more about the softness of this pad or the lack thereof i guess you should say now unlike a lot of other control pads we've seen recently which are using a very aerated soft base foam the tango sr is using a very dense and very hard rubber base it almost reminds me of like an eraser to a standpoint where you can kind of push into it a little bit but it fights your movements very similar to that now why this kind of caught my interest is that a lot of the time control pads because of their unique softness tend to not play too nicely with dot skates and i'm a dot skate user and i hate not being able to use dot skates on control pads so i'm interested to see if the tando sr because of its hardness is compatible with dot skates but i'll have to see how that fares out over testing and i'll talk about that more in the final review but overall the tando sr is a very interesting pad i definitely have not used a service like this before this is a very very unique unique surface and this very unique density hardness to the pad as well has a very interesting potential implications to performance. I'm very interested to see how it holds out over long-term testing but for now I'm going to go ahead and do a couple runs in Kovacs to do some initial performance first impressions and I'll be back for some final thoughts. Alrighty now in terms of the performance again as I mentioned before a very very unique pad. The surface is very high friction as I mentioned before and against my bare arm it is very very high friction so it's a little difficult to move my arm across the pad which may be a bit of a problem in terms of performance long term. I'll have to see how it works with like arm sleeve 
moves and that kind of stuff. Or maybe this pad is designed to be like the Fnatic Dash 2, where your whole arm is supposed to sit on the pad. I'm not 100% sure what the use case for this pad is, but I'll do some testing with different grip styles and different arm positionings to see what works best here on the Tendo SR. But aside from that, the pad actually feels very, very solid. Very controlled, of course, due to the surfacing and the hardness. The initial friction and the stopping power is, of course, going to be very high, but the glide is surprisingly fast. Now, I was using these stock skates on my Sprime Kia 1, which are larger surface area skates. I was expecting the glide to be a lot more controlled, but it's actually very, very fast. And because of this very unique combination of very high stopping power, very high initial friction, but a very fast glide, this pad feels incredibly consistent for static. Now, of course, this is a control pad. That's kind of what you want it to be. But unlike a lot of the other pads I've tested where you kind of have to press into the pad to slow yourself down, you don't have to do that on this pad. It just kind of naturally does it for you. So it's a very, very unique feeling pad. It feels very, very consistent for like static and flicking. But when it comes to more dynamic things like tracking a moving target and having to do a lot of micro corrections, it's definitely not as good just because again, the high friction, the high stopping power. So it's a lot harder to kind of do those micro corrections. Of course, I'm still not fully accustomed to the pad. That's going to take a couple days for me to get accustomed to it. But just based off of my first impressions for static and flicking, it's very, very good for dynamic and tracking. It's definitely not as good. But once I get adjusted to it, that may change. So I'll talk about this more in the full review. All right. Now, in terms of final thoughts, this is definitely one of the most unique mouse pads I think I've tried in a very long time. The Tendo SR is definitely a very unique uh, control pad. Whether that uniqueness is going to be a positive or a negative, we will find out over testing. And of course, I will have a much more in-depth review of this pad coming out in a couple weeks. But that is going to be everything for today's unboxing and first impressions of the ESP Tiger Tendo SR. Thank you very much again to Potent Gaming, who was kind enough to send this out for review. I greatly appreciate it. And as I just mentioned, I will have a much more in-depth review of this pad coming in a couple weeks. So be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss that video. But that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode of the Melon Review. Peace.